As always guys, this is just for entertainment purposes only, this is not financial advice. Advice. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I read this article, it was in Dutch newspaper, I translate for you, it's about Electra Bell that is transferring 1.2 1 billion euros of profit to France, basically transferring profits to Engie, Engie owns a big part of Electra Bell and um, it wasn't yeah, mentioned by the Green, uh, one of the Green Party ministers, Stine. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe, maybe if they make that much profit, I should actually look into this stock and see if it's, uh, if it's worth as an investment. Uh, so when looking at the stock price uh, for um, NG, we can see that year to date, we have a very, very big uh, drop somewhere in the middle, uh, namely around 28th of February. Um, and that's that's not so healthy. Looking at that, it looks a bit scary. Um, so that was because the war uh, with uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. So the war started, and there was a lot of uncertainty about gas. So NG is transporting a lot of gas. They're reselling gas. They're storing gas. Uh, all coming for parts coming from Russia, and um, and also they are an investor in um, the North uh, Pipeline. Um, well, not an investor, but they lend about $1 billion so they can kiss that goodbye, basically. Um, but after this, we saw a little of stabilization of the price. And recently, they've had pretty, pretty good earnings. So that means that uh, the stock price has also responded well. Uh, generally, I think uh, when you look at from where they came, uh, they're well priced. Um, there is a reason for their current pricing. Um, and I think, yeah, of course, the fact that they have all these old nuclear power plants um, and they have coal, but they do have like plans, plans for uh, more going to renewables to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, um, to reduce carbon intensity. Um, so they really want to go to net zero by 2045. So it's really good of them. Um, and I think right now they are really, they're spending a lot of money to try to get rid of old energy. Um, but they're also investing a lot of money in trying to get rid of new energy. And at some point we're going to have that tipping point uh, where they are yeah, less dependent of that old energy, those old energy types and much more of those new energy types. And by 2030, that should pretty much completely replace the income they have now from the old uh, energy, maybe even sooner, uh, probably even sooner, maybe the tipping point will be 2025. Um, and you can see that in their balance sheet. Eh? So you can see renewables uh, is 442 uh, million and nuclear, uh, that's still the biggest part of old energy that they have, uh, or at least old nuclear power plants that need to close. Um, but when you see when you double, more than double the renewables, then you're nearing that nuclear um, nuclear output. And also, uh, the energy will be allowed, or electable will be allowed, to keep two nuclear power plants open. Uh, so that means that until 2036, their income is pretty much safeguarded, at least um, one sixth of that income. So together with the reinvestment of the renewables, uh, especially by 2027, uh, we should be looking at a growing company again. Um, and um, yeah, we, of course, they have a lot more. They have networks, energy solutions, thermal supply. Nuclear is right now only one seventh of their full um, the full energy mix, it used to be a lot higher. Um, so when looking at the analyst forecast, we see revenue is really slowly growing. Uh, it's planned to, to grow slowly. Um, I don't know in what way they fully calculated in the rising energy prices that we're facing right now. Uh, I think they have to take that uh, into consideration. So it might grow even faster, at least the earnings will. But even if it's just, I mean, these are not, uh, these are not huge growth numbers, I guess. Uh, so looking probably at a few percentage, 
uh, per year. But um, I mean, it is growing nevertheless. Looking at their balance sheets, they do have a lot of debt. I think that's a classic for utility companies. I think a lot of utility companies, they do have a lot of debt. Um, and I think we have to take that into account. Um, but so far, the debt is still less than equity. I do expect the debt still to grow as they're building away those uh, old energy factories, but it's probably going to slow down. I think this is also quite interesting, uh, their ownership breakdown, namely the government does own a lot of shares, uh, so 23%. At the same time, that will probably not get sold, so I think that's a pretty safe pack, um, and that has led to a rather stable price um, in this volatile market. In Simply Wall Street, there's a link down this tool down below, please check it out, it's very useful. We can see this undervalued. I'm looking into the market when I buy a share, it needs to be at least 50% undervalued in simply Wall Street, but closer to 100% the better. When I bought Engie, it was about, it was over 80%. So it's been, uh, it's been one of these companies that are going up right now. We're seeing weapons go up, energy go up, utilities go up, uh, oil companies going up. Uh, some food companies that are going up. So basically all those companies that are actually taking advantage of the inflation, like Engie, we also see a very nice dividend yield, 6.7, um, with a, a nice payout ratio of 60%. So they're returning a lot to the shareholders. Their margins are low, 6%, but they are there. Uh, that's to be expected from a utility company. Um, this is not a fast growing tech company, so it's not exciting. Uh, it's much more boring, but I think your money will be much more stable here as well. And you can count on that seven per, almost 7% yield, yield. Even if the stock price would tank, that means after 10 years, you would have your money back. Uh, so that's, that's a pretty good yield. And that almost as good as the inflation, probably will be as good as the predicted inflation. So that should safeguard your portfolio against these downtrend volatile markets. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please like, please subscribe and see you next time.